Hello, friends. Robert Pevin here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're discussing the feat Crossbow Expert. Well, not like a gun, like a crossbow. That's why you get the. Right. I guess I had it like this, actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's like this. I think. I don't know. I've never held a crossbow before. I have not either. They seem cool. <laughs> I mean, you ever want to do a behind? Experts. <laughs> That's true. We are not experts in crossbows. Uh, I would recommend Van Helsing talk to talk to that guy. He seems to know what he's been doing about it. So, crossbow expert is three parts. It's really um, surprisingly more complicated, I think, than it needs to be, but it is pretty nifty. So, the three things it does: you ignore the loading quality of crossbows with you are with which you are proficient, and the loading quality for those wandering at home. I'm just going to read it because I don't. I'm going to make screw it up if I don't. Because of the time required to load the weapon, you can only fire one piece of ammunition from it when you use the attack, bonus action, or reaction to fire it, regardless of the number of attacks you normally make. Basically meaning, with the extra attack, you can only fire one bolt. This removes that, which means you can now make extra attacks with crossbows. Basically is all the text that that has. Additionally, being within five feet of hostile creature doesn't impose disadvantage on your range attack rolls, which is, I think, pretty meaningful text. I think it's a little bit underlooked like how good that is, but it means if you're doing a sharpshooter thing and someone gets up on your face, you can just sharpshooter them in the face. You don't have disadvantage anymore. And that's pretty cool. Or sharpshooter uh, the... someone far away. Yeah, why do you do? Whenever you can just hit them in the noggin from five feet away. Yeah. Uh, when you use the attack action, additionally, this is the last line of text. When you use the attack action with one handed weapon, you can use a bonus action to attack with a hand crossbow you are holding. And funnily enough, wouldn't you know it, hand crossbows are in fact a one handed weapon. They also have the light uh, property. So, you know, you think that's a lot of little little things with hand crossbows. Hand crossbows are pretty baller. Um, hand crossbows are like the bulk of what this feat actually is. Uh, but that's, you know, by the hero there. What are your initial impressions on this fun little, uh, fun little feat? You, you say that it it's overly complicated, but I think the first two points just straight up remove complications. <laughs> it's yes. ignore this rule. And, yeah, and uh, I... here, second one, ignore this rule. So Great. the re you still ammunition still requires that you lo have the ability to load it right. So ammunition is its own property that these all things still have, and you can use a weapon that has the ammunition property to make range attacks only if you have ammunition to fire from the weapon. So you have to, you're tracking how, range, how many crossbow bolts you have. Each time you attack with a weapon, you expend one piece of ammunition. Drawing the ammunition from a quiver is a part of the attack, so you would need a free hand to do it. So you can't be dual wielding crossbows you'd be passing the crossbow back and forth between one hand which is a little counterintuitive so like you can't actually dual wield crossbows as much as that's absolutely every single time i've ever had a character running around the table that's what they wanted to do and i'm absolutely here for it and let them do it <laughs> you do need open hands to do the loading crossbow thing which makes a lot of this not really seem like it works based on the ammunition property, which is kind of unfortunate. There are a lot of little hiccups that end up existing by the nature of how ammunition functions in ranged weapons. Most of which just gets thrown out the window whenever people are playing D&D because &D they want to do the Van Helsing, like, treat them as basically pistols whenever you kick out yeah. a window and you go monster hunting. That's the vibe people want from this, and they do it, and I would recommend doing it that way because this is not a busted feat by any stretch. Uh, well, but rules the, uh, Sorry, the, the third point here, use the attack action and attack with the one-handed weapon. Yeah. A light crossbow, or I mean a hand crossbow. You can use the bonus action to attack with a different hand crossbow. Um, and then ignore the loading quality. Does that not... Uh, the the loading for... quality is a separate quality to ammunition. Oh. Ammunition and loading are separate qualities. So the first time you do it, the first time you have a loaded hand crossbow and a loaded hand crossbow, you can fire both of them and the ammunition property is fine. The moment you go to make your next attack, because you were holding two hand crossbows, mm -hmm. you do not have a free hand to load either of the hand crossbows, and thus cannot fire either of them with because they both have the ammunition property still, even though you ignore the loading quality of it. So if you right. are in a situation where you've, you're fifth level, let's say you're fifth level ranger and you got this, and you want to make two attacks with the one hand crossbow, one attack with the other, you physically can't, because you don't have a free hand to draw the ammunition. And if you're holding a light weapon in one hand and are making the hand crossbow attacks, you still don't have a free hand to draw the ammunition. So, like, this is not... I am reading this as it does not work rules as written to run around Van Helsing style, and you have to drop whatever light weapon you're holding to get extra attacks with a hand crossbow, which means it's supposed to be, like, the skirmish or fantasy of, like, you you shoot your hand crossbow to engage, you attack with a light-handed weapon, and then you shoot the crossbow again, but I don't I don't see how that works in the action economy. Maybe about, I'm missing something, but it seems like it doesn't functionally work because of how ammunition functions. What about with mage hand? 
That would be cute. I'd love that. I don't think, again, rules is written. That counts as an open hand, but I would absolutely allow that to occur. Um, all right, well, so if you're saying the meat of this is in the third point with the hand crossbows. The reason I'm saying that is because I, most people opt to ignore how ammunition functions. Ah, functions. Right, right, okay. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> that is the bulk of how I see crossbow actually played, is people running around with two hand crossbows that have cases loaded into them, which I don't know if maybe maybe I'm missing how hand crossbows have like do they have no, is there a ammunition loading? Crossbow? I believe sorry, what was the question? Is there like a repeating crossbow? Like with There's a an there are automatic crossbows, I think, in the artificer class. Like you can make them. They're magic items, I think, oh. in Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. So that was what you would need to do this, like rules is written. I'm here to tell you don't 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 worry about it because this the a very important note being the first two points ignoring loading and crossbow ignoring, ignoring the loading quality and it being within five feet is an imposing disadvantage. Neither of those are good enough on their own for this to be really worth a feat in my mind. Most of the time you're not and within five feet whenever you're making ranged attack rolls anyway, it's kind of just bonus upside. Yeah. And ignoring the loading quality of crossbows doesn't matter if you're they're not better than bows. And default, they're not really better than bows. You well, that was going to be my next bow. question. When uh, is yeah, or well, the question was: are, are are crossbows meaningfully better than bows? Generally speaking, what uh, what's the difference? Heavy crossbows are the biggest, baddest ones. They have the heavy quality. They're two two handed. They have ammunition, but they do a D ten piercing damage. Where a longbow does a D eight piercing damage. So there is a slight upside to using a heavy crossbow over a longbow, and that is a D ten versus a D eight damage. That isn't worth sinking a feat into, though. You don't want to spend a feat to upgrade a dice size from a D eight to a D ten. That's not really worth it. You no, I wouldn't think so. Especially when you, you, the majority of your damage is going to be coming from a sharpshooter anyway. Yeah, that's normally the feat you take first on these kind of ranged characters. And, uh, but to be clear, that first point does allow you to multi attack with a crossbow, even a heavy yes. crossbow. Yes. So if you have a heavy crossbow, normally the loading property would not allow you to make two attacks with extra attack. With yeah. crossbow expert, you can make two attacks with extra attack. It's really dumb that that is the hoop you have to jump through to be able to make D10 range attacks. But that is the the reality of it. I, it probably would have been a lot better if it was were a fighting style. If just like the crossbow fighting and you would ignore the loading quality or even like something to do with a uh, more firearm based fighting style because there's a lot of homebrew and a lot of like Matt Mercer made gunslinger subclass and stuff. He's a big proponent in the space. There's a lot of room and people really want to have more guns in D&D. They want it to be a little bit more hybrid sci-fi fantasy versus uh, even stuff like steampunk and whatnot. They all kind of melting pot mesh in two. Dungeons the Dragons anyway, and having something to deal with that. And the fighting style is a way cheaper access, a way cheaper point to access it than having to get it in a feat. That's where I would rather see it. But it's not there. It's here. And if you have yeah. to take it because you want to play that character, go for it. If you do have to do that, I would really, really, really recommend talking to your DM about how ammunition is going to function at the table and if they care if you can make two attacks with your hand crossbows at range. It's really fun if you get to. I would <laughs> recommend doing it. It's not that what, busted, I promise. What's the damage for a hand crossbow? D6s. So D6. you're basically ranged short sword multi-attacking, which is still takes uh, your bonus action. It's got a lot of a lot of, lot of problems with it anyway. And uh the range is it now short. Hand crossbows have like a 30 of over 120 foot range or something really, really tiny. Let me double check. Uh hand crossbows have a yeah, 30 over 120. Nailed it. Now, does that remind me how does that work with sharpshooter? Uh, you take a minus five. So, thirty. Well, the I'm range talking about from, range. Uh, so sharpshooter doubles the range, I believe. All right, doubles the range. All right, so let me double check. Makes... Always got to pull up these things. Always got to yeah. check the rules. Um, sorry, sharpshooter says attacking at long range doesn't impose disadvantage on your range attack rolls, which basically just means your hand crossbows have a hundred twenty foot range as opposed to thirty over hundred twenty foot. They okay. can't shoot farther than that ever, but you don't no longer have disadvantage from firing beyond thirty feet. All which right, is well, that... pretty baller. Um, yeah, that makes a huge difference with hand crossbows. It gives you a third attack around if you're using hand crossbows specifically, which is pretty cool. But it does cost you two feats. So that's kind of like a mid-tier fantasy anyway. I don't think that's that unacceptable. <laughs> Costs you two feats and you're cheating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like all of those things to get this to come together, I don't see it. Sharpshooter is the offender here anyway. 
if sharpshooter isn't that much of a problem, I don't really see much of an issue letting hand crossbow builds come to fruition. I don't think they're, I guess it, if you're min-maxing like that, you probably should play as close to rules as written as possible, in which case you have no reason mm-hmm. to ever take crossbow expert. And there's just one less ranged combat feat, which is a bit of a bummer. So yeah, there's that. If you do crossbow expert without sharpshooter though, I would really, really recommend cheating. <laughs> I would really recommend <laughs> not literally cheating, talking to your team and be like, hey, I didn't know this is how the rules work or this, I learned this is how the rules work. How do we want to handle it? I don't think it's that problematic. Do you think it's that problematic? I really want to be the monster hunter running around, running and gunning with these hand crossbows. Is that cool with you? And the answer is universally, most of the time, it's going to be yes. So, ooh, that's going to be tough to read this one. Um, we'll get there. I'm going to rate it. Pepper. I'm going to rate it rules as written. Yeah, and that definitely takes a notch off it for me. And that's because ammunition's weird. And I could be wrong. The commenters, let me know. Maybe I'm missing something critical. And reading through ammunition again. I don't think I am. So making it work as you'd like seems very challenging. So, um, yeah, I'm, I guess you're really leaning into the the uh, two handed cr- uh, hand crossbow thing. I'm thinking more of a just a fighter with a bunch of attacks with this big heavy crossbow going bang, 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 bang. Um, yeah, that's is that worth? Is a, it, here's my question. At the end of the day, are you willing to sink a feat to remove a condition on a D10 weapon? Or are you going to use well, the D8 weapon that doesn't require the feat? Yeah, that's the that's the thing. I'm probably going to use the D8 because those potential two uh, extra two points, uh, that's not where the bulk of my damage is coming from. Yeah, and an average is that's like, you know, one-ish. And if you just take a plus two dex, that adds to hit and to damage. That seems pretty decent. And that's adds yeah. your deck saves and your stealth checks and your acrobatics checks and all a whole bunch of other things. So like <laughs> that seems better than upgrading to a heavy crossbow. Um, and yeah, it does. Because like it, it's a little bit baffling to me that the text in crossbow expert saying when you use the attack action to attack with a one-handed weapon, you get a bonus action attack with a hand crossbow you're holding. It has to be the same hand crossbow, I guess. And then you're just like pew, 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 Oh my god, Bob, I've solved the mystery. I Uh-oh. figured it out. What? When you use the attack action and attack with a one-handed weapon is not in the other hand. It's just the one that you have in your hand. You can use a bonus action attack with a hand crossbow you're holding. This just lets you attack with one hand crossbow a bunch of times instead of two. And if you want to be flavorfully too, now there's no reason to not do it. But whoa, you can whoa, have whoa, an open whoa, hand. Whoa, you don't whoa, need to be dual wielding. Attack with... Wait, wait, run that... Explain that to me again. Okay. I was delusional whenever i came into this video i was thinking you had to be holding a second i was assuming that this only let you make an extra attack with a different weapon that when you make the attack action with an attack with a one-handed weapon that one-handed weapon can be a hand crossbow because the hand crossbow unless it's a two-handed weapon which god please don't be a two-handed weapon so yeah you don't need to be holding two you can just be holding one and be fine we've done it we fixed it you can attack with okay when you make the attack action with a one-handed weapon, that one-handed yeah. weapon is a hand crossbow you're holding, holding with nothing in your other hand. Right. You can use the bonus action to make an attack with a hand crossbow you're holding, which is the weapon you made the attack with in the first place. Oh, you know, so you're just... One hand crossbow, three attacks a turn, we fixed it, everything's fine. Commoners, I know I'm wrong now, and I'm so sorry, I'm going to hear about it, and that's okay. We learning. We're learning together, we're interpreting rules together, you can't dual wield them, but you can't hold them in one hand and it's better, and we fixed Wait, it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So, where's the third attack come from? Extra attack, so you fire twice, oh. is what I'm assuming. Okay. But if you're okay. a level one, you're firing it twice. With one action and a bonus action. Okay, well. We solved the problem. That sounds good. You solved yes. it. I'm uh, still a little foggy, but uh, I think I, th- I think I got it. I I right. made this more complicated than it needed to be because of how many words are in ammunition and the weapon properties, and I wish they were simpler. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think it's time to rate this. Uh, four out of five. The like, kids a long way around because now, now that I know you just the basic play pattern of I have one hand crossbow. I shoot once. I bonus action shoot again. At first level is very good. That is often going to feel debilitating for a DM that doesn't necessarily know what they're doing. Maybe it's their first time playing and you got a variant human that's just wants to do the monster hunter thing. They're going to take a hand crossbow and they're going to run around and kill everything with two attacks around. That's going to feel really high damage. It's going to feel really difficult to deal with. Stack sharpshooter on top of that and you're looking at a bonus D10 around or bonus 10 damage around for a feat. That is all of a sudden worth it. If you're not doing that, not worth it. 
If you're mm. trying to use a heavy crossbow or any other crossbow that isn't specifically a hand crossbow with this, you probably can do better. If you're using specifically one hand crossbow and you're making that your whole character, this works. And if you want to flavorfully pretend it's two hand crossbows, it's just a gold sink. And I can't see a physical reason why a DM would say no to that because you're just wasting money because you're making the same number of attacks anyway. So like, now are you flavor. getting sharpshooter with both of these attacks? Yeah, you're getting sharpshooter with every attack that you make with a range weapon. That's <laughs> low level. That's really amazing. Yeah. So if you're like very human crossbow expert, you probably actually went very human sharpshooter, and then you took crossbow expert at fourth level, and then you're hitting for plus thirty extra damage at level four before, or sorry, twenty extra damage at level four, thirty extra damage at level five. That's pretty gross. Yeah. Yeah. Well, four out of five sounds good. I was a. Uh, I was still gonna give rate it pretty high based on uh just the heavy crossbow thing, but uh not like super high. But now this uh yeah, you've convinced me. To, to go smaller, go lighter. Hand crossbow it is. That's how you All right. Feet. Um, this, I feel like we're going to get some comments on this one. Huh? I <laughs> agree. A lot of and confusion. I'm sorry in advance. No. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to them. Uh, lay it on us. Um, that was maybe one of the expert. messier videos we've ever done. Yeah. Messy's fun. Messy's great. We're this learning be, together. We are not crossbow experts. That's We did open with that exact sentiment. Yeah. All right. Well, that was Crossbow Expert. Thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description, where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.